Yeah, very pleased. Um, as soon as I uh, had the call off of uh, the gaffer um, and he explained sort of what he wanted and well, where the club was trying to get to and, and what he needed, um, it just seemed like a perfect fit. Uh, him being a centre half himself as well, and a very good one as well. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a it's a challenge I'm really looking forward to and, and just can't wait to start playing football again. Talk us through how the move happened. Has it been quite a quick process? Um, yeah, to be honest, I mean, I think the interest come probably early this week. So I'm only on Wednesday now, so that's how quick it got done. Um, there was other options and, and there was I had championship options and stuff like that, but nothing that sort of, as the manager said, wet my appetite. I want to go and fight for something. It's a huge club, um, always has been, always will be. And uh, we've got a lot of memories of playing here, um, good ones as well. Um, it's a club that should be in the championship at the minimum and uh, that's what the manager wants to do. So um, really looking forward to it. I know it's got a great squad and I know a lot of the lads from playing against them and, and just sort of being around football for a long time. Um, so really looking forward to sort of helping them try and achieve something. And you've experienced promotion from this division before as well, so you obviously know what it takes to get out of, of League One. Yeah, um, obviously it was a long time ago, but um, yeah, sort of had a playoffs with Brentford in the in League One, and then got promoted automatically the year after. Um, it's a tough league, uh, there's no doubt about it, and it's um, a lot of games. I think we've got eight in February. We've got big ones as well. So that's what I'm that's what I'm looking forward to. Just just playing week after week and and play recover, play recover, especially in front of the fans. I think getting twenty odd thousand, um, and I've been here that. Uh, many a time when it's been bouncing and it is it's, it's some atmosphere I put it up there with sort of the top three that I've played in in the away journeys and um, I'm looking forward to being part of the home team now. Yeah tell us about your experience playing at Hillsborough how, how have you gone on? Um, I think I've done all right to be fair um, I'm not too sure on statistics I know I've scored a couple here um, and I feel like I might have won more than I've lost, to be honest. But uh, it's uh, the past is the past. You can't live on that. So um, I've got to, for myself, I've got to play and perform well. Um, I haven't played in maybe a month or so, maybe a bit more. Um, and it's just about me getting back to sort of the player that I know I can be and, and, and enjoying it again. And um, the enjoyment side of it is really a big thing for me. Um, hence why I wanted to come to a club that was doing well and is trying to progress and, and, and be better because uh, there's nothing better than walking into a dressing room where the atmosphere is good and and a club that's pushing in the right direction. So, um, as I said, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, can't wait to get into training tomorrow with the lads and, and seeing what everyone's about. You mentioned enjoying it, no doubt you'll enjoy playing at Hillsborough with, with those fans behind you and full away allocations as well, it's, it must be a big part of the move for you as well. Um, yeah, as, as I said, they're a huge club and um, again, like Birmingham, another massive club, you've got two teams in that city, you've got two teams in this city and um, I think there's a lot of similarities there, the fans are unbelievable at Birmingham, the fans are unbelievable. Um, I've been told here through my agent, people that I know and the manager that it's a real eat, sleep, football sort of community. And uh, I, I, re I noticed that at Berman as well, it was very similar, very football was it, it was either Villa or Blues, and that was all that mattered. And I loved that environment. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be very similar to that. Having been captain at your former clubs as well, no doubt you bring some leadership into the, into the dressing room as well. Um, yeah, I think so. I think I've always, even from a young age, I've always sort of been, a leader. I mean, I started in non-league and, and realised pretty early that them lads were playing to pay their mortgages so you don't muck about. Um, and that was the best thing for me, the grounding, um, the expectancy, the not taking anything for granted. Um, I think you see a lot of people come through now have been at the big academies and stuff like that and it's all taken for granted. They don't realise how lucky they are and I'm the complete opposite to that. I think you've got to treat each day like as you last because it could be you could end up getting a career ending injury and then you never play again so every minute that I can to play football I make sure that I give everything um, and I enjoy doing it as well it's the best job in the world so uh, I've got that hunger I've got that passion and um, I've never been one to sort of settle and, and get comfortable.
there's obviously different ways to, to lead when you're in a dressing room. How would you sort of describe your yourself as a leader and how you go about it? Um, I try and lead by example first and foremost um, on the training pitch and and around the place. Um, I'm an organiser on the pitch, um, vocal, but I'm not one to come in and rant and rave at people. I don't think in this day and age that works. Now and again, I always take what I want to do off of somebody who taught me it, um, Jonathan Douglas, and he was one that was in the training ground, would, wouldn't speak often, or in the changing room rather, wouldn't speak often, but when he spoke he paid attention. and it, held substance and it stuck with you and it was the right information at the right time and I think that's very important I think um, I'm not going to I'm not going to come in here and start telling people like Barry Bannon and this that and the other like what to do their seasoned pros who are, had unbelievable careers the the club the players the squad are a very good squad a championship squad so I don't reckon there's much that I've got to come in and do apart from focus on myself maybe a bit of organisation on the pitch and, and putting some good performances. You mentioned Barry Baden there, looking forward to meeting him and the, the rest of the lads tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially um, a lot of the lads. I think I've, I was with Jack Hunt years and years ago at uh, Gray's Athletic on loan. Um, when we was, well, I was 16, so I don't know how old he would have been. Um, obviously know a lot of the lads from playing against them, side I was, I was at Brentford with. Um, so yeah, no, um, looking forward to meeting the lads and getting involved and, and sort of, seeing where we can take it. A big game on Saturday, Ipswich at, at Hillsborough. Let's say you're raring to go and want to be part of that. Yeah, of course. Um, there's a, I think it's a big month, really. I had a look, we've got five home games and we've got Wigan, Rotherham, Ipswich, all in that, in amongst that. So you, after this month, it's, uh, at the end of the month, you can sort of see where it's going to be. So you're either going to sink or swim, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, we, hoping we swim.